Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's about time, right? Yes, I so, think so it is the first time we're going to check out Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, mm-hmm. uh, which sometimes people uh, you call him Utak? No, Nutak. N- 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 Nutak. Uh-huh, I think uh, so. Which is the uncle. Untak. Untak, Untak right? Which is the uncle of uh, Rahat, Rahat Fateh Ali Khan. And um, we're obviously quite familiar with his work. One of our favorite singers from, Pakistan? from the Pakistani music industry. Mm-hmm. And I thought, given as well the, the huge involvement that and the huge, what would you call him, impact that he's had in so many industries, not just the Pakistani, Indian, but really well regarded uh, as, as a legend in South Asia. Um, let's give him a watch. Let's give him a little review. It's the first time, so... Very yeah, exciting. so this this is quite interesting. This happened in 1992, this specific performance. And uh, it, he is mostly based on the Sufi way of singing. Sufi. By the way, after further information that you have given us, uh, provided, I I realized that Sufi singing, it's very spiritual. It's very worshipful. Worship-like, that's right. So uh, when you see the performers being really... Um, ecstatic. E- ecstatic and energetic through, throughout the whole performance, usually they're quite lengthy as well. So like a song can last up to 15 minutes. And, it's more uh, like a prayer, right? It's, it, yeah, it's a very worshipful, um, energetic type of, Perhaps. of singing. Uh, like it's very soulful. Perhaps for us, because obviously we, we grew up in South America, and South America is predominantly like Catholic Christian. Yeah. Um. And uh, like in in Catholic Church, they have like something called like the sermon, mm-hmm. uh, which is not musical, but it's just like a talk. I feel like to a certain extent, this is probably like that. Like this is the inter- speech. Yeah, it's like a speech. Mm-hmm. Um. I, it's it's worshiping and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So yeah, I, that's the only way I can kind of relate it. In case you may not be watching. And you have you may not be watching from any part of Asia, and you have no idea what the hell this is. The the interesting way of singing for Sufi singers, though the 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 interesting artistry of this uh, particular way of wor- worshiping, is the incredibly difficult singing phrases that come from inspiration. So let's have a look. Give it a watch. Let's, let's look at it from further. For many consider one of the best. Yes. The song is called Moose to Moose. Whoever do it. And they do it sitting down, by the way. Life. Mm-hmm. Dolak? Tabla? I can't really tell. I love it. Harmonium? Good. Nice. Two harmoniums. Ooh. It's a tabla? Three harmoniums, but two, two. And very often the singer can play the harmonium too, by the way. This is amazing. Uh, it's incredible. I know it's so different, but it's like it's I love it. <laughs> what the? Also, I love. I'll tell you what I love later. But it, it, the reason why there's one call and response is because it's like you're opening the prayer and people are responding. They're repeating the prayer. Oh, it's right, like right. how we do like it in mass. In like, mass, like for example, you say like oh, yeah, in the name then, of the Lord, and they say yeah. in the name of the Lord. And that's right. That's right. So this oh, is sick. it's it's similar to I, that. I, I like this verse. I <laughs> I like this version too. <laughs> It's so musical. <laughs> it's so musical forward. Also, the heartbeat of the feeling, it's also what drives the worship to be uh, full. What do you call the guys in the background? Clappers? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think they're just... I don't know. 
Because they obviously like maybe they like the congregation kind of thing, like they they, they like the they representing. They're like the worship band. So maybe like the choir. Kind of thing. I see. I see. Go on. I don't know. I don't know. We do have Wikipedia here helping us. <laughs> Also, that was really intriguing because his larynx don't really move. Exactly that, mommy. Remember, in case you don't, because uh, you're a bit like me, a bit dumb, um, or you don't know much about this sort of stuff, I'm sure you're very smart in comparison to me. But the larynx, it just saw your throat, is what people used to call the voice box back in the day. It's not a box, it's a tube. Terrible term, by the way. Like SpongeBob <laughs> called it a voice box. I think, to be fair, it was for kids. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's just this. And when you sing or I talk, you see how it moves up and down and shit. Um, for this guy, it doesn't. That didn't really move, though, did it? That, that's moving, there you go. But that's what I want to swallow. But it's the same when people sing, especially in yes. the West. Yes. Um, uh, in South Asia, it doesn't really seem to be the case. Like places like India, yeah, good luck. Uh, they really utilize a completely different set of uh, uh, foundational techniques yes. given from Hindustani, classical or Carnatic. In Pakistan, it seems to be the same. Since mm -hmm. Sufi seems to be one of the best examples of that. Uh, also in Bangladesh, it doesn't in, fucking happen. In the Punjab state overall, yeah, uh, it's it's quite it's quite they similar to Sufi music. So there's there's really shift static. The larynx. The, the larynx are, are quite static. So what's really interesting though is the the fact that the range actually shifts and changes because of jaw and inner work of the of the tongue mm. and soft palate inside of your mouth modulation so not to get really technical but this is fascinating because you're seeing incredibly difficult and highly dynamic singing phrases that hit places in the notes in the singing journey that are so incredibly uh, uh, they 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 don't even work in the same range. Like you're you're jumping from one end to the other with without transition notes, right? So everything is really accurate, but there's no movement of the larynx. It all happens due to the changing of the uh, tongue positioning and the the jaw. And you can actually see it really clearly in the call and response situation because I think Such. I think Nusrat is doing like a like a rag. Would that be rag? I have no idea. But it, it's it's more like um, it, it has consonants to hit the notes, to hit the, the plosives. There are certain things that just ignite the dynamic in the voice. But the guy who's responding to the call is, is actually doing it all through the modulation of the tongue within inside his mouth. It's so cool. I'm totally geeking out. This is incredible. Just 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 look at this. You see? He's using a lot of plosives, a lot of ba ba pa pa ta ta situations in 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 the in the diction. And the other, the second guy who's singing, who also has an amazing range, by the way, um, is just using. If if you actually look at the positioning of his mouth, it's pretty cool. It's quite uh, open, and it's all working within his mouth. So the the tongue is what's moving and the jaw is what's moving. So his larynx are completely static. They're just stuck in that higher range positioning, and the airflow changes, and that causes the sound wave to change too. Wild. <laughs> Sorry, that was awesome. All in the jaw. <laughs> 
the harmonium is man it's being the constant yes yes so i it love it helps i guess i love the key because it's kind of like a minor key it's not quite a full you know the harmonium is that accordion looking thing yeah listen what on the guacamole this also, it's got incredible. two mics yeah 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 the it's fuck? to amplify to double up this sound yeah, no shit well it's 1992 they didn't have you know multiple channels it's like... just for him though. yeah 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 no, mad. just to create more sound <laughs> bigger <laughs> better <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful freaking uh, shot. Look at his tongue. It's all happening inside of his tongue. Just look at that. It's awesome. are all asleep oh yeah yes sir it's such an exhausting style of music also i think that the 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 younger fella i think that must have been rahat i want to say a young rahat i think it looks like it, you're right i didn't want to i didn't want to say anything either but I, i'm throwing checking my guess the, out checking there checking the description i'm sure checking the like, description you know, nusra huh? uh go down Oh. I was at this concert oh my God. in nineteen ninety three Copenhagen. Copenhagen. I do. <laughs> I do not. What is it? Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah, oh. Copenhagen. So powerful. Rest in peace. He passed oh. away. I had no idea. I had no idea either. We are blessed to have such a divine voice in our lifetime. It doesn't say anything. Maybe I'm just like. Yeah, it looks a bit similar. L- looking too much into it, but hey. Like a young. This is incredible. Vo- vo- from a vocal standpoint, with without knowing much about like the whole spiritual aspect of of this, the, yeah. it's in, it's incredibly fascinating to see such male ranges to to naturally 
hit incredible notes in, in such a dynamic way. Also, the rhythmicality of it is quite steady. So from a energetically speaking uh, efficiency from, from a singing point, you actually need to be super grounded and really aware of breath control. Um, so he, I would love to know what the technique is behind was, this He all. was awarded the greatest Sufi singer in the Punjabi and Urdu languages mm. and one of the greatest mm. Kavali singers in history. I don't think we've ever checked out Kavali. No, wow. Um, he was described as the fourth greatest singer of all time wow. by LA Weekly in 2016. He died quite young as well. Yeah, he passed away at the age of 48. In, in London. 1997. In London, in 87. Oh, look at in that. 97. 97. Yeah, in 97 in London. Wow. Fucking hell. Again, incredible. I am baffled by the the natural inclination of direction, the calling the shots exactly when and where, the pulling of the dynamics. Well, it's awesome. Let us know what you guys thought about it. I, I certainly. We're certainly learning, and uh, such historical and important figures in terms mm -hmm. of music from. Uh, all over the world are super important for us to check out and discover and learn. There are probably lots of questions to be asked, lots of questions to be answered. Um, so let us know what you guys thought about it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Goodbye.